Can you guys hear that fan? It's probably blowing right on the mic. Hang on just a second. We're going to do something just a little bit different and this video has uh, three run outs, nine ball run outs in it. But on each one of them, I get out of line at the end of the game, toward the end of the game. Um, so when I get to that part, I'm going to uh, cut it and then I'm going to go on to the next one. Okay, but I'm going to ask you what you would do in this position in this game and how would you get out or if you prefer how you would play safety um, and then at the very end so we're going to do that on all three all three games we're just going to cut them somewhere in there and you're going to try to figure out how you would get out and then at the end of the game at the end of the video I'm going to run all three back consecutively from start to finish so you can see what I did and see if what your answer was matches up with my answer. If they're just totally different, if we just think completely different. If you have a better way or I have a better way, whatever, we'll talk about it. Also on this video my camera's on the wrong setting. I forgot to switch it back to the setting I used for pool. And it was on a close-up nature uh, pictures not even videos, pictures and so um, what's going to happen is the foreground is going to be super clear and the background is going to be a little bit out of focus um, I, don't think, I don't think anybody would have noticed it unless I pointed it out but if you do notice it that's what it is, it's just a bad camera setting and I was just going to trash them you know but uh, and I thought, let's just make this video out of it. And I think this is a cool idea because it gets you guys thinking and seeing and learning. And uh, that's what it's all about, amigo. Anyway, let's quit yakking and get on with it. I think just, there's just a roll down on the two, but you need some kind of an angle if you want to get close to the three, which is kind of on the left-hand long rail there. And, and I kind of got straight in, so it's no big deal. I don't worry too much about long shots, but you need it an angle on the three, too, to bounce off on the four. And hell, you almost always need an angle on every shot, except, uh, yeah, I didn't like how I got on that five. Except the nine ball, of course, you can always get straight in on that. And that was a problem with the way I got on the five. I was going to hit that eight. Yeah, I tried to get underneath that eight, but that wasn't going to work. And the big problem on this six ball, which is right here, is, and you probably spent time doing this when you first started playing pool, it's a scratch shot. If I shoot this wrong and try to get on the short side of that seven, uh, there's a good chance of scratching or just getting really, really bad or on top of the seven. So, you know, you want to stay away from that option. Another big problem we have here is the position of this nine ball, which is blocking four of the six pockets for the eight ball. So I have two pockets for the eight ball, and that too severely limits my options. So when I shoot the six, I have to commit to the plan and commit to a pocket on that eight ball, and it has to be the right angle on the eight to get back on the nine. Uh, so here we are, what would you do? How would you get out from here? Don't answer that yet. Let's go ahead and watch the next one and the next one and then we'll go all three at once. I seem to be spending a lot of time studying this table and trying to find a pattern that I'm comfortable with, but I'm not really sure what I'm worried about here. It looks pretty basic and easy from this point. Four to the five could get me in trouble. Six is kind of in a weird position. Let's see what happens. I mean, you know, 
it too, but it's just sitting right there, so it's just a stop shot on the one. And you're bouncing out the center table out two rounds the center table for the three. Four to five. I don't think it's gonna be a problem. Man. Well, I should have slow rolled that up on the short side of the four. Then I got a great angle from the four to the five. And again, it's just the center table there. Center table, when you're not real positive or confident on one, you know, much of anything, always shoot for center tape. That ball can be under and over hit. Um, you know, see, I got bad on the seven um, to get right on the eight. And I'll, again, I'm just bouncing out, not quite, I'm coming down to the top rim and going back on the eight. But as you can see, I came up short here. Now, yeah. And here we are again. What would you do? How would you get out from here? Take your time. Take a good look at that. Let's go on to the next one. I remember this game, and I think I stayed out of line the whole game. Straight from getting on this two, I got jacked up on the five. So really, I overdrew that a little bit. Came back too far up table, and I now I'm jacked up on the two to get back on the three, and I overshoot this. I wanted to shoot the three in the side pocket. You can see I went too long. Well, I'm still shooting in the side, and now I have to hit the four, and that could have been a big, big disaster. In fact, it was a big disaster, and I'm banking this, and the problem with banking this is it's not real easy to stay on that five ball. Most guys would have went too far down the table on that shot, so I had to really hold it up and kind of stun draw the shot while I'm banking. Now i got to draw this one all the way back down the table. And I really didn't want to take this combination, so I'm not. Um, and I'm not even going to explain what the problem is here, but I will tell you this is a 6 and this is the 8. Okay? So just know that. And boom, here we are again. I don't know why I kept getting out of line this day. It's just uh, some days are better than other ones, you know. But uh, this wasn't my day. I couldn't. I mean, I could. I did. But I was, I was struggling at the end of almost every game I played that day. And it's just, uh, I don't know. You know maybe it was something I ain't. I don't know. But what would you do here? Alright, now we're going to do the loop back on all three and play all three of them through and see if what you said matches what I did.
this this is this is a chaotic night. Trying to separate metric and standard, and I'm just gonna have to hire somebody to do that because it's driving me wonky. 